Good morning, I'm Harrison Hefner. My confirmation verse is John chapter 11, verse 25 through 26. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die, and whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? This verse is saying that even when we die, we will live eternal peace in heaven with God. It is not something that we will have in the future. It is something that we have now. I believe that the Holy Spirit is not the Father, the Father is not the Son, and the Son is not the Holy Spirit. I believe that God is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit as one triune of God. This is something that we as human beings have a really hard time truly understanding. It is through faith that we know and believe God is the Father and Son, the whole Spirit together. God has given me many blessings. He has given me a house, a family, friends, this church to learn more about him. But the most important thing he has done is forgive me of my sins and let his son die on a cross for me. I was baptized on October 4th, 2009 at Our Savior Lutheran Church in Houston. Baptism is something that Christians and other believers of God do when they are expressing Christ's death and resurrection. My beliefs have raised me to be compassionate to people and kind to people that help someone in need to help someone in need. When I was baptized, my parents and godparents promised to raise me and surround me with God's words, that when I become old enough, I could confirm my own beliefs in God through confirmation. In the two years that I've been at St. John for confirmation, I've learned a lot. I learned that church is not just about learning about God, it's about getting closer to your peers and becoming friends and fellowship. I've learned that the friends that you make at church are the most important people that you can have in your life. I really joy, enjoy spending time outside because I feel like I'm getting closer to God. I will keep an expectation of going to church every Sunday I can and teach the sermons of the, to the people that might not be able to attend church or believe in God so I can spread his word. During these two years of confirmation class, our confirmation class has grown really close. We grew together as friends and family. I want to thank my classmates, Pastor Doria, Mr. Marshall, for teaching me the ways of God. I would also like to thank my family for supporting me during this time. What I have been taught will stay with me for the rest of my life. My goal after confirmation is to grow my relationship with God further. By this, I mean I want to go on with my life in Christ by my side to help me along the way. My confirmation journey has come to an end but I am confident and fearless that God's word will light the way on my new path as promised in Isaiah 41, verse 10. God said, so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I'm okay.